What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Twin Z Trouble here. Just going to do uh, another mail day. So I recently did that illusions break. I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but I liked a lot of the stuff that I saw out of there. So I decided to buy my own personal box. Actually didn't do too bad. Um, and then uh, I'm still waiting on Phoenix to drop. Uh, Phoenix drops, I believe, not this Wednesday, but the following Wednesday, the 13th. And then Prism releases, I think, on the 23rd or the 26th, so the following week, um, it'll drop as well. Um, but I did get into some Illusions breaks, some more Spectra breaks. Um, got into a Jersey break with P Sports Cards, the guy that I was talking about last time in my video. Um, did a couple of trades, got a Panini, uh, a couple of Panini replacement cards. Um, so we can go ahead and see what I got. A lot of good stuff. Uh, this is kind of like part two of Epic Mail Day because I have a couple of one of ones uh, in today's um, Mail Day. So this first one is going to be from Snappin' Packs. Um, he posted on Instagram that he was trying to do uh, an illusions break. So I originally bought the Dolphins and then he needed a little help filling it. Um, which is kind of funny because nobody wants to buy it then when he starts talking about discounts or you know what the checklist is when everybody started hearing the checklist people started buying in um, but I had no idea um, that there was Edger and James and Reggie Wayne with the um, Colts uh, which I guess I should have because that's what the, a lot of the players have been in lately um, so I went ahead and bought the Colts as well um, or I'm sorry, not the Colts. Um, he ran them off the Redskins. That's right, it was Beast Breaks that I got the uh, Colts and the Dolphins. So I bought the Dolphins, and then he ran them off the Washington Redskins, the Giants, the Cardinals, and I can't remember who else. It was the big four with all the big quarterbacks. Um, and he ran them, and I happened to get the Redskins. So I got the Landon Collins Clear Shots Acetate card. Um, that one's not numbered. I got Josh Rosen base, uh, two Josh Rosen bases, base cards. Um, I do like the base cards in these. Um, Illusions, the, it's nice thick card stock, they look really good. Um, so a couple of the other group breaks I got into, I, um, he asked did anybody want the base and I said I will take um, the big QBs and a lot of the bigger players because I'm actually trying to put the entire set together of base, rookie base and of um, veteran base. So I got a Christian Wilkins at a $3.99. Um, I have probably like seven of these coming in out of all the case breaks I've been in. Um, just regular base, uh, rookie base, and then um, the numbered parallels. And then the Dwayne Haskins out of $2.99. So didn't do too bad. Didn't pull anything major uh, with the Redskins. And then I did get the magged hit. Um, the top, the the t uh, box topper, and this one's 31 out of 50, Jakeem Grant. So I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I don't have a Jakeem Grant auto, um, but this is actually a pretty sick looking card. And there's the back on that. Alright, so next we have, this is from Panini. So if you guys were following my... Um, my channel you know that I was talking about elements and if you're with Rice Cerrone you know I've commented several times on his videos about um, replacement cards and such the elements break I had he was actually he got points instead of the metal on card so I traded him that McCall Harmon with some others for some dolphin cards and I did not get the neon signs work he actually got shorted so they actually sent me both because I messaged him about the McCall Hardman um, auto being kind of damaged um, and the card being kind of damaged I didn't expect them to send me another metal card but they did send me one the Bryce Love out of 25 the red which is super sick with the red skins it's more of like the Falcons red um, or the Cardinals red because you know the red skins is kind of like that burgundy or maroon color but nonetheless it's still a super sick sweet card the white ink on the red looks really nice it's 23 out of 25. So I really appreciate Panini for um, coming through with the customer service and actually sending me something, even though I did not expect it. But they did send me a Neon Signs Darius Slayton. Um, this is at a 199, 7 out of 199. 
so not the right Giants, not the best player, but I mean, I can't be um, too picky on who they sent because they did send me a replacement. Um, and I did hit that McCole Harmon, which is pretty good, which made the box pretty good. Um, and also that Jalen Ramsey, the other middle card. All right, we are going to save this for last because this is actually pretty sweet. Um, that's one of the one of ones. If you're on Instagram, you probably already know what it is. But we will get into the first part of P Sports Cards 24. Um, I got into, he needed some spots being filled. That's who I used to break with when I first started getting back into the hobby. Um, and then I started doing my own boxes just because uh, group breaks is cool, but he does single packs or single boxes versus case breaks. So your chances of actually hitting a card are pretty slim, even though he's the cheapest um, person for single boxes on YouTube that you'll find. Um, just the, the odds are just a little bit um, not as good, especially when you're only talking like four or five cards in a box. There's 32 teams in the NFL, so not that good. But um, he had some optic contenders basketball and some optic contenders football and a luminance break. Um, so I bought a couple of spots in each. I actually had the Raiders and the um, the Raiders and the Bucks were two of the teams I had. I think I had four. So Jordy Nelson base the season ticket. So I liked Optic too because the really thick cards and the Chromium, like the, the Chrome cards look super sick. And then also the one hit that I did get was the Justin Watson uh, Sticker Auto rookie ticket. Um, so not too bad. I think it was like 550 a spot or something like that, um, which wasn't too bad. And then in the Optic Contenders basketball, I had the Raptors, I had the Cavs, uh, I had a couple other teams, I can't remember who. Um, but I hit the insert, 45 points, um, Kawhi Leonard insert, pretty cool. Um, this one was not numbered. So I didn't get skunked, not too bad. Um, and then out of the Cavs, I had the Jordan Clarkson season ticket, the Silver Prism. And this one was unnumbered as well. And then for the Luminance break, the two rookies I got were Darwin Thompson and Gardner Minshew. I told him to pull me a Gardner Minshew. He pulled me a Gardner Minshew. I was just hoping it was for an auto or for a patch. Um, but still, Luminance, I do like the Luminance because there's no border. It's just the entire, the entire action shot there, which is pretty cool. And then, so I had the Jags and the Chiefs. I had Jags, Chiefs. Uh, I can't remember who else I had. Um, and... Uh, then I also had the Lions, so I got the Kirion Johnson Illuminate, and this is out of 75, 36 out of 35. Oh, I know what it was. The, um, for this, the Optic Contenders, I had the Chiefs, I had the Ravens, I had, um, the Browns, uh, the Jets, like all the big rookies I got taken last year, I had all the rookie quarterback teams, so I was a little disappointed that... I did not get a rookie quarterback from last year's draft class, but it was okay. Um, can't complain too much. It was super cheap. And then this was a trade. Actually, let me finish this package. So I did get into Jersey break. Um, after I stopped doing cards with them um, as much as I used to, I just started getting in the men breaks, like the helmets and the bats and the balls. I got a lot of sweet Hall of Fame um, balls from him, baseballs. Uh, I've only gotten one mini helmet, like the mini helmets and the baseball helmets, the batting helmets were things that I had the worst luck with. I could seriously buy 31 spots and still miss it. And the person that got that 30 second spot would get it. Um, but jerseys, I was on a super hot streak. Um, I think it was like started in March and it ended in like April. I ended up pulling like 19 jerseys. So here's the little bag that he includes with all of his stuff. Uh, Pete Sports Cards 24. Um, that's his YouTube there. He's also on Instagram and also on Facebook. Um, really cool dude. Just to go in there, even just to chat if you don't buy anything. Uh, the community in there, the group of people that's in there is uh, really awesome. Um, and they always want to work out trades and everything like that. Um, <clears throat> so it started with uh, football, and you know, we did a little bit of talking. Um, we did a little bit of talking about things, how he can improve himself, because I'm always trying to give ideas, and I started talking about baseball and hockey and basketball and doing premium jerseys instead of just TriStar and Gold, Star, um, um, Gold Rush. 
um, as well as like other stuff too. And he did take my advice on some of it. Um, and he put together his own line where it's all Nike jerseys or Adidas jerseys or whatever the sport, um, their biggest sponsor jersey is. Um, so he did have hockey, he did have baseball, he did have basketball, and his biggest seller obviously is football. I hit 19 jerseys in like a six week span. Um, I hit Baker Mayfield, I hit uh, Drew Brees, I hit Peyton Manning, Saquon Barkley, um, I hit a Jose, um, a Jose Altuve, Correa, um, Evan Longoria, I hit two Lonzo Ball jerseys, a Anthony Davis jersey, Kristaps Porzingis jersey, uh, who else did I get? A only PC I got at the time was the Miami Heat Hassan Whiteside. Obviously, he's not with the Heat anymore. Um, who else did I get? Um, I got two hockey jerseys, Patrick Laney, and I cannot for the life of me think of the other one. Um, Demarius Thompson uh, or Demarius Thomas jersey. So the biggest thing I always had, I always had the AFC West and I always had the NFC South, which drove me crazy. Um, and of course, when I got in a random break the other day, I happened to have who other than AFC West. I remember one time I had the AFC West and I just saw him pull a Patrick Mahomes and I got really upset that I got the AFC West for like the seventh time in a row. So I traded it and the very next break, it actually happened to be a Patrick Mahomes. So it was like a $300 payday that made me absolutely sick to my stomach. So I had the AFC West. And as soon as he pulled it out, I, I looked at the checklist. He actually tries to buy jerseys from every team because um, he was just buying, you know, the popular jerseys. But he started buying one from every team so everybody can get a PC hit. Um, but as soon as he opened up the bag, I checked the checklist. Uh, it was a Noah Fant. So I actually got a Noah Fant inscribed number 87 PSA DNA on-field Nike jersey. Super sick. NFL Shield, the logo on the front. So he, he does a lot of this stuff. Um, it's pretty cool. I gotta fold this up better later. Um, a lot of great, great um, products that he has. Um, I really highly recommend him if you're not big into cards or you don't like the fact that he just does um single teams i gotta put that somewhere uh you don't like the fact that he does single or not single teams but um single boxes that's fine it might not be your your slice of pie or you know whatever um to your liking you don't have to you can get in on the the baseballs um he does his own repack products too which is really cool um a lot of cool stuff highly recommend it his memorabilia is some of the best that i've seen especially because he spends a lot of time putting it together uh the series the baseball the basketball the football helmets bats balls jerseys anything you can think of this dude has it's absolutely awesome that's why i like to continue to, to break with him every once in a while i'll hop on there try my luck and um i keep hitting like every time i get on there actually tonight um i did illusions and he, it's all random team, nothing is pick your team, but there's a lot of guys in there that are understanding and women that uh, will actually be willing to trade um, if you want to work out a trade. Um, but I had illusions tonight. I just bought, I think it was four spots. I had the Eagles, the Redskins, uh, who else did I have? Oh, crap, I can't even remember. But anyways, the big team that I had was, oh, the Cardinals. So I had the Cardinals, um, the Eagles, the, I can't I can't remember guys anyways um, the big hit that I had was the Cardinals and I hit a Kyler Murray um, numbered card base card and then the box topper was actually a Kyler Murray at a 50 auto which was super sick um, a guy was trying to trade for it um, and I didn't really like what he was trying to trade so I said no thanks I'm good and I'm glad I didn't trade because that would have also made me super sick so, um, this was a trade that I did with one of the guys in the channel. Um, I do a lot of trades, a lot of business with the guys on his channel. This is one of the older guys that's in there. Um, one of the regulars, um, we tra he traded me uh, Juwan James out of Donruss Sigs. Obviously, you know, he's not on the um, Dolphins anymore. I want to say he got traded. I want to say the Titans, maybe. I don't know. I could be mistaken. I don't remember where he went. It was a couple of years ago. Um, but yeah, so super sick. Don't have a Jawan James auto. Um, so that's one. 
And then I'll save this other one for last because that is another one of one that he actually pulled out of um, P's. Uh, so his name's his name's Pierce, but everybody calls him P. Um, out of his repack products, he always goes and buys cards, um, some of the sickest cards you'll see. And even guys that have big collections like me, um, we always work out deals, whether it be break cred or um, something that he has that I want. Or even sometimes he just gives me cash, but he tries to do products from guys' collections, and I've done a lot of business with him. Um, I even sell him some of um, my Steelers cards. He's a huge Steelers fan. Um, but this is a card that Nate Anderson also hit. Um, it's a Jay Ajayi. This is out of 25, 2 out of 25. Another sick Dolphins logo patch. I couldn't believe that this wasn't a 1 of 1 or out of 2, but it's 2 out of 25 or at least out of 5. But out of 25, um, Maximum Materials XR, I believe this is 2014. No, no, this is 2017. I thought it was older than that. But anyways, Jay Ajayi, I really liked him, when he, what he did with us, but... Uh, when you bed talk the coaches, I guess, um, I didn't really like Gase anyways, but I threatened to trade him to the Browns and he ended up going to the Eagles. Um, but yeah, super sick patch. This was another one we worked out for. I traded him some Vikings cards, um, that he wanted. Alexander Madison, uh, was the big one. And then a couple others, and then also some Bears cards, Mitchell Trubisky patches, and a couple of autos. But this was the one that I did not have. I did not have a Bob Greasy auto. Um, so this is out of honors. You know, it's the buyback, flawless, one of one, hand scribed right there. So it's not a true one of one. Um, but it is a buyback, and I saw this, and I absolutely had to have it. Um, and this is Recollection. I'm trying to see what this says. Recollection Collection 2018 Flawless. So it's got a little Miami logo up here. And it's green. I don't know what the greens were originally numbered out of. But he pulled this from Peace Channel. As soon as I saw it, I told him I had to have it. I originally thought it was a patch auto. Um, and then he told me it was a one of one. I was like, okay, so it is definitely a buyback. Um, and this is from 2015 Panini Flawless. So this was the buyback from 2018. Little stamp there in the corner. Super sweet. Glad I got another card. Um, I have a lot more cards coming in from the group breaks and some eBay pickups. A couple of more of one of ones. Um, some super sick stuff. Um, so Snap and Packs was the Illusions break. P Sports cards was the Jersey um, and the other cards. Nate Anderson was the trade. Now, let's get on to the best for, well, I wouldn't say best for last because that's a PC one of one, but this was super sick. This is from uh, NZ Sports Cards. Um, he posted, I did a Spectra break with him. I hit a couple of cards. I was in my last mail day video, um, but like a couple days later after the Spectra break, we... Um, He posted a flawless break, and the prices he had on there, he had the Colts for $25. He had the Dolphins for $15. I could not pass it up. The reason why I got the Colts is because of Edron James and Reggie Wayne. That's honestly who I was going for. So you can see it was on the 26th. Um, those are the two teams I've got. There is his YouTube, eBay, and Instagram info. It's the front of his business card. Super cool dude. He's, I would say, I'd say local, but he's actually in, uh, over on Eastern Washington. I'm in Western Washington. I'm close to Seattle. He's closer to Spokane. Um, so went through the flawless break, didn't really get anything. And then like halfway through, um, I saw this and I, it was just like breathtaking that I actually hit this card, but there it is. Paris Campbell, one of one flawless absolutely nasty logo patch the only thing that could have made it better is if it was an auto but even though he's not doing that great on the colts still he did good things in ohio state and any ohio state fan would absolutely kill to have this um i have had a couple people um send me offers but i have not posted it yet on ebay or on instagram as being for sale um, so if you are interested, you know anybody interested, let me know. Um, I have a couple of people that have already sent me offers and said they want to buy it, but I tell them I want to hold on to it for a little while until I actually do my mail day video so that I can have my YouTube followers that don't have Instagram, 
um, or don't like to purchase off eBay can see it and e message me directly. So if this is something you're interested in or you know anybody that's interested in it, you can always hit me up. Um, I'd be more than happy to work out a deal. Um, I prefer to, uh, most of my cards, especially if I'm trying to get PC cards, I, I try to, um, I try to trade for, um, but one of ones and really super sick cards, I, I usually tend to sell just to kind of support the channel, um, to sustain the channel. Um, so this definitely will be for sale. Let me know. Um, anyways, guys, that is going to do it for tonight. Um, oh, real quick. So beast breaks, I did an illusions break with, um, and it was the first time, um, I pulled a lot of good stuff out of there. Uh, future breaks, I did a Spectre break out of, and I'm waiting for, I think we have one other break with him. And then Absolute, Bur or Flawless Breaks is another one that I have. But Top Shelf Breaks, um, as you know, Jam and JD um, is a big supporter of Top Shelf Breaks. Um, he's always on there, uh, on his channel, talking about Top Shelf Breaks. So I got on there the other night just to kind of mess around, and I got in a half case Spectre break. Um, and didn't hit anything, which was, you know, it happens, kind of sad, and, um, he was kind of bummed out about it too, and we started talking about military and all kinds of stuff, and everybody was on there thanking me, um, which I appreciate, because, you know, it's surprising not a lot of people actually do that, um, but he was talking about something that was super, super awesome, he said once a year, um, he puts together a care package, hobby boxes, sports memorabilia, um, cards, so on and so forth, uh, from families and customers and stuff that he does, and he ships it to uh, a soldier that is deployed once a year, and I thought that was so awesome. Um, and we started talking about me, and I was like, yes, I've been overseas um, a couple of times. Um, I will not be deployed for at least a year, probably longer, unless I get promoted, which I did come on the list to get promoted. Um, but, um, I told him that I would definitely, if I have a buddy that is deployed and who's a big sports collector, I will definitely let him know, um, because that is super awesome. Um, I did get in his impeccable break as well too. Um, that's going to be coming out next week. And I went on the channel last night, super cool dude, has a lot of good stuff. I highly recommend going on there. Just the chat room is just unbelievable. Um, also he has the chat, um, I forgot what it was, but anyways, like you go to his th uh, his chat room and you don't even have to buy anything. You just sit on the chat and you both almost used a bad word there. Uh, you you sit there and you mess around. You you talk uh, talk in the chat. Um, he gives away free silver packs just for even being in the chat, and he has like the random chat drawing. And I actually got on there tonight just to see uh, who won that Ray Lewis ball, that autograph ball, and I actually won a silver pack and hit a PC hit. So I highly recommend going to uh, check out Top Shelf Breaks, Future Breaks, and Beast Breaks. Um, Future Breaks is actually a really, um, he's, he's actually a local guy. He lives about uh, 30 minutes from me. So go check them out, support their channels. Um, I'll link all their um, Instagram, YouTube um, stuff in the, in the description below. Please go follow them. Tell them I sent you. Tell them JD sent you. Um, Thrice Aroni, I mean, they everybody breaks with them. Anyways, guys, that'll do it for tonight. Stay tuned uh, for some more super sick breaks. Have a good one.